Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Soulstones. Last episode, oh man, there was a lot to take in. So basically, Spencer is actually good. Spencer, uh, Agent Roberts, and someone new we met last episode, Victor, they're all actually working for the good guys. They're undercover as double agents for the agency, and um, it's, it's really great. I mean, it's kind of sad that Spencer now got taken and we thought, you know, he was bad, so it was a good thing, but now it's like, oh yeah, probably not. But then, we found another Soul Keeper, and as you'd expect, uh, her Soul Stone got taken, her Soul Bound Pokemon got taken, and now the bad guys have managed to um, <laughs> release four more Watchers from the Soul Stones. So there's six to deal with now, and it's just not looking great. It's not looking great. So we're gonna head to the Shrine, which is just North of Hina, level 89 Electrode. Whew. We also got a new security clearance. I need to check the encounters around here. And we gained a lot of levels and you want to battle. Skiing is the preferred pastime of the ruling class. Okay. Can't ski, but I can snowboard. Well, I haven't snowboarded in... When's the last time I went? I want to say 2013, 2014 is the last time I went. So it's been a long, long time. I mean, it's, it's pretty basic how to snowboard. So I think I could probably remember if I tried doing it. But like in my town where I live, I mentioned before we got a, um, like an indoor... Snow, uh, snow slope, so I can just go whenever I want. I haven't really felt the uh, the desire to go snowboarding anytime soon, you know. <laughs> and it's one of the things that's just like, eh, I did it quite a lot. I just can't be asked to any anymore. All right, so what have we got around here? We have like a nice little ice puzzle, maybe. If I go like this, I can go across, and it's just a person that wants to battle. You can still ski in the, this grass, okay. I, mean, I don't know how you're going up and down so fast, but. I mean, you do you. <laughs> so go for a superpower, get that attack and defense up, and then we'll just keep going for a drain punch. I feel like in this area, Infernape's gonna just absolutely destroy everyone. I mean, for this probably have superpower, be better idea. Just in case the Lonely Nine Tails lives and goes for a fairy type move, that would be, whew, could be bad. Jinx, I mean, I think we're probably strong enough now, go for a drain punch, nice. I feel like Infernape's gonna be the first Pokemon on our team to reach 115. But the level cap's gonna go up so high because obviously we get to 115 now and still got four more uh, clearance levels to go. So I'm guessing probably like, what, 130, 150, one, probably like uh, maybe 200. That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> be level 200, destroy everyone. And do I, need to, I don't really need to fight anyone. I feel like I'm already a good level, but if I get into a fight, I'll, obviously I'll fight. I mean, Got no choice, kind of have to, don't I? <laughs> Alright, I think one superpower, then just drain punch the rest. Don't want to waste all my PP. Alright, let's go drain punch. Gonna be one shot on every single thing we run into. Because we're so strong. Dude, that. Oh, Aurorus is so, so cool. I just love the design of it. It's so simple, but so effective. Easily the best poss uh, fossil Pokemon in Pokemon. To me, anyway. Like, Tarantrum's like a, a close second. Like, I think, to me, Gen 6, not the the best Pokemon games, but the Pokemon they introduced has a lot I really like. Uh, so the cave's over there. Let's go around. I need to pop a repel. Maybe I'll save it for when we get inside. Make sure there's, like, no new, like, ice Pokemon we can pick up. Uh, doesn't look like it. No. All right. Let's go around. Anything down here? Yes. Oh, what's what's that? Oh, do you think that's one of the Zygarde, um, like, cores? That's worth five. Because we found a lot of cells, but I have not found a single, um, core. That's worth, like, five percent. That's got to be it, because it's green and it, it's a circle. <laughs> that's my logic right there. It's green, small, circle. It's got to be a Zygarde core. But we'll find out in a second once we destroy you. And I've got, like, no PP left. You live? Oof. Got lucky, son. Alright. Uh, so I've got a Thunderbolt. Nice. Uh, so I think I've got a... Yeah, i got two superpowers left. Awesome. Alright. How do we get to it. I need to go like... No? Oh, I see, I see. 
like that. Yeah, it's like Zygarde Cuban is similarly sucked in the side. Okay. Hey, you now collect a 10% worth of Zygarde cells and 5% of uh, Zygarde cores. Let's go! <laughs> so we've got 15% overall. It's not bad. We've got three ice gems there. So inside we go. And I've definitely got a pop of repel. Getting through here is going to be a pain in the butt otherwise. Do I even have any repels? If I don't, it gives me a good reason. i got two giga repels. I guess it gives me a good reason to run and heal up. Never mind, you can get healed up here. Poggers, man! <laughs> oh, you'd love to see it, man. Getting healed up like that is just too good. Alright, I'm going to go Thunderbolt. And another Thunderbolt. Nice! And hit him on top. Yeah, for this we'll just go into Swanner. And we can air slash everything. Ooh. I was saying, like, I'm really excited for like, the, the climax of this game. I want to fight all the Watchers. I want to see what this, like, um, this Fallen one is. Like, I, I don't... Palmy thinks maybe Giratina because the way they spoke about it being, like, in a different, like, void area. But, like... I don't know. Maybe it's a fake Emon? I'm just so excited to see. Maybe a regional version of something? Possibilities are like endless. What we got here? We got five more Giga Repels. Oh, that is fantastic. Right, which way do we want to go? Uh, I don't know, but what's in here? Do I want to go this way? I think I do. Because we need to get over here to Ice Mist Village. Uh... So let me go back in. I want to go explore a little bit in case we can find something really cool. Oh, we actually need to take out this cryogonal for a side quest. Move out of the way, dude. There you go. Thank you. So there's a cryogonal. Uh, oh, what else was there? There were two other Pokemon to take out. I definitely know one of them was this. I mean, I assume, you know, maybe another Pokemon just like walking about. So it should be quite easy to find and this takes us here okay uh, greetings my friend I need your help been studying the ecosystem throughout most of route 112 that damn tunneling has rolled up the wildlife in these uh, hills the mammoth swines have emerged from deep in the tunnels and start to migrate out into these hills to escape the noise and impact of humans in their habitat unfortunately the go goats haven't liked that because both of them are very territorial creatures and they don't want to share the grazing areas with the mammoth swines I don't blame them so the tunneling isn't going to end soon either so I need you to help make amends. We need to reduce the population of the go-goats and the mammoth swines. Some of them will need to be put down to make sure both populations do not suffer as a result of the migration. Uh, yeah, sure. I feel bad doing this, but at the same time, it's got to be done. It's just like in the forest when we had to take out uh, the Passasimians or the Orangos. Forget their names. But yeah. Ah, ooh! Where's the Steelix? So there's one more. Although I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember where I need to hand this quest in. I'm gonna get healed up, because why not? I feel like it's gotta be... That was a dead end, so it's gotta be this way then, in this area. Oh no, there's more over here. Okay. I was not expecting this, but... Still good, still good. I'm gonna size it and toss me. <laughs> okay. Sure. Don't mind at all. So what is easier to take out for us? Is it gonna be the Mammoth Swines or is it gonna be the Go-Goats? I feel like it's gonna be the Go-Goats, so um... Yeah, sorry, go goats. You're gonna have to just go extinct in this area. <laughs> and the Steelix, not Steelix, the Mammoth Swines will be taken over. Has to be done. I love Drain Punch. Like, ah, oh. Pokemon where I can easily get stats up and then just Drain Punch and get like HP back. It's so satisfying. So satisfying. How do I get that item? Oh, really easy. <laughs> Alright, sorry, go go. Oh, I just walked walk by posture. 
Oh, it's actually normal go go. It's not like an ice one. Huh. Okay, it might be easy to take out the Mammoth Swine then. I thought it was going to be the ice regional types, but... Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I can still just, like, switch into, like, Swanner or something, just Air Slash, but... Oh, there's a Zygarde cell right there as well. Hey! Oh, dude, that looks so cool. I feel like you're... What type are you? I think someone said Fairy Dragon before. I feel like you're definitely fairy, but you're either fairy dragon or you're fairy, maybe fairy psychic? Fairy, definitely not fairy rock, otherwise that would have done so much more damage. Uh, what to go into, what to go into. I need to get the uh, the stone for Eevee as well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like close my eyes and hover over all the things and just randomly pick one. And that'll be the evolution we use. Because honestly, I don't mind which one I use because they all look so good. I mean, I, I do think Umbreon probably looks the best. But now I'm starting to think like Espeon is kind of cool as well. They're all just so good, man. And Lunatone looks sick, like Silver. Wow. I actually like the look of that. Oh. Maybe you're Ice Dark? You're, you're Ice Dark type. That's... That's a good uh, typing, I like that. Dark side of the moon, baby. And Haunter, get power gemmed. Yeah. Okay, so how do we get this cell nice and easy? I ask how I get the cell and then it's just, it's simple, just walk around. All right, let's grab this. And it's a hidden grotto right here. Ooh. Is it the Pokemon we have to take out? Oh, that looks sick as well. I feel like we have to take this out, or I guess we could probably capture it. Was Bear Tick the third Pokemon? It wasn't. Uh, let me just switch. Because we've got to go back through the cave again, I can just go talk to the nurse and heal up. Alright, now let's just Fire Punch and Fire Punch. We're still killing the go goats. I think there was four, right? Four to take out. Oh, I told my girlfriend it was a stupid idea to live up here in the mountains. The most recent snowstorm went and knocked out the power from our power generator. I'm not insured either, so uh, since no agency would touch us with the house being at risk of an avalanche, being so remote, I need to stay up here to fix my generator. But we're concurrently running out of supplies up here. I need to stay here and do what I can to make sure this isn't. Uh, there isn't any lasting damage to the generator or the, or the house. Could I ask you a big favor to run into town and grab me some... Oh yeah, sure, I can do that. Oh, what do you need? Oh, okay, yeah, I actually need to go into town. I was hoping I could just have, like, some stuff on me to just give, but... It's fine. Oh, play rough. Uh, yeah, maybe we should get play rough. Hmm. I think... I should maybe order Thunderbolt because our attack's gonna go with superpower and having like a, a fairy type move on this could just be good and I'm not sure if swanner has got better physical or special but Dazzling Gleam does attack two Pokemon at once so I don't know it's a hard hard choice but let's start making our way back and I need to go and heal up so that's a nice little house though like yeah it might be Hard to get insured and whatnot, but hey man, being remote would be really nice. I would love to live there. Alright, let's get nice and healthy, and now we need to go back. Quick before he goes back in that little corner. Hey! Probably like expected that guy just to block the way again. So now we go this way. Uh, what we got? Sweet, HP reset disc. Uh, anything up here? Ooh. Oh, maybe that's the way we have to go through. A rare candy. We've got like six rare candies now. Right, first one I'm taking. Well, I'm getting this. And. Yeah, let's just take out the go goat. Sorry, go goats. I do like you, but. I mean. I'd much rather fight you than a uh, mammoth swine. 100%. 
And there's another one. Ooh. So if this is the last one, then we go hand the quest in right away. Right, let's go Starmie. Look at nice power gem. Right. Mega Evolve Power Gem. I, I love this Mega Starmie. It's all good. What next? What next? E Stantler? Uh, maybe we can stay in. Nice. If anything, the hair was going to take us out. Theraform. Ooh, no, we switching out for that 100%. Nice fire punch. Way. Get wrecked. Anything else? Yeah, E Gengar. We can stay in. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Love the little, like, uh, ice. Hail snow around it. It's kind of sweet. All right, let's take you out. We go for nice fire punch. Goodbye, go go. All right, is that it? Yeah, that was it. So let's go pick this up. Felt like that skier was chasing me for a second. Then. No, I thought I battled you. Ah, there's too many people losing track of who who and who I haven't battled. <laughs> Just keep spamming that fire punch. Although it might switch out. If you have more normal types, that is. Executor. I mean, I guess we should stay in for this. Now, that is a Pokemon I have not seen in a long time, like a normal one. Now, what else you got? What else you got? Magnazone. Yeah, we stay in. We stay in. Oof. Fire Punch and then last Pokemon, can we take it out with fire? Go, go! Ah, uh, yeah, we, we can, we can. No, I can't. <laughs> got close, got close. Alright, uh, let's talk to you. Oh no, dude, I thought I battled you as well. Wait, if there's a person here, can I fly back up here? Because if I can, that would be real good. If not, then it doesn't matter. Oof, Blisco, uh, I don't have an ice type no more. We'll go into a powder on. All sword stars, you're trying to get a little bit scary, aren't you? She can just one shot you. We have 444 HP with a powder on. Absolute monster boy. Absolute monster. Alright, what do I get for this? Give me something good. Three green shards. I mean, PP Max, not bad. I'll take that, I'll take that. So can we fly back up? It looks like we can, so what I'm gonna do is I'll go to Frostgrad, get healed up. And then I will, yeah, pop another repel real quick. Actually, let's quickly go and get some supplies while we're here. Uh, gonna get a few Tetra potions, get a few more Gigas, and we'll get a few revives, and we'll get some Giga repels. And now I'm pretty poor. Actually, I should get some poker treats just in case, because I've been using them quite a lot recently. Got 11. Get four more to make 15. Alright. Now, where is the... Dragonite person? Come on, man, I'm burning repel here. Where you at? Where are you at? There you are. Ooh. Okay, so now... Actually, good thing I did have a little bit of money left. I almost spent all of it. That would have been bad. So let's go through this cave. Ursa Caves. Uh, Sir. <laughs> or maybe this is the bear tick we got to take out. Signals to you that it has four cub chew bear cubs that have gotten lost in the cave network. Please of you to bring it, bring back its four cubs. To oh, okay. Sure, I can, I can do that. So Agron stole its four cubs. 
The Agron can be found within the Ursa Caves? Question mark? Okay. Is there more to it? Maybe there's like different things. Oh, did you hear that? So Neuvern, ever since all the tunneling work started, is disrupted the neighboring areas. Neuverns are fiercely competitive, and when something else is capable of making more noise in here, it can get really riled up. It is going and annoying anything and everything that inhabits the Ursa Caves. At the very least, the integrity of this cave network could do without the loud sound blast. Could you put the Neuvern down? At the very least, we can get some peace and quiet in here. Yeah, sure, why not? Right, so there's a few entrances throughout Route 112. Ah, okay. So we've got to find the entrance that will get us to uh, the... Oh, it's not a hidden path there. Get us the Cub Chews and the Neuvern. And you want to fight? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Actually, let's not. Let's switch. <laughs> this is not a good matchup. Stone Edge, I mean, that's fine, that's fine. Go for a superpower, get that defense and attack up, and then we spam Dream Punch. Ouch, that hurts. If you've got more rock types, then this is going to be absolutely fine. Dog Trio, uh, it's going to hurt, but if we can one shot you, nice! It's going to say if we can one shot you, I think we'll be fine. Just going to get that HP all back. Man, Fernape's almost got 400 HP as well. <laughs> Can you imagine if we get like, the, like near level 200? We're gonna have like double HP. Like 800, it's gonna be, they're gonna be some insane battles. Ooh. All right, uh, we gotta get that. So if I go like this, like that, like this, we Max Aoife, fantastic. I think I gotta not fight you. How do I get to that? Oh, like that. Easy. Ooh, get a Steelix Megastone. Sweet. Avalog, that was the Pokemon we need to fight. Now remember now, Cryogonal, Steelix, Avalog. Got the flinch. Oh, let's go. And the flinch again. Let's go, baby. And then the critical hit to finish it off. Ooh. Man, Dust Noir was not like messing around. We got a Glaceon here. Sweet! Got a free Glaceon. It's not bad, there's a Zygarde cell there. And I'm done sparse, let's just fire punch it. Yeah, slash, that's absolutely fine. E Kingler. Uh, I forget what type you are. I like part water still. Ground water, maybe? Ground something? I mean, take it out with Woodhammer, which is great. Eevee level 100. <laughs> what am I going to turn the Eevee into? I don't know. We shall see. Like, I think once I get to Ice Mist Village, I'll probably end the episode off going to Sirius City, go into the department store and just randomly choosing something and whatever we get, like an Evolve Eevee. That's what we use. <laughs> nice. I feel like though, with how far in the game we've come, I've probably missed so many Zygarde cells. You, I reckon you can probably have like at least half of them done by now. And unfortunately, we, we only have like 12%. Well, I guess 17 if you want to count the core with it as well, because that counts as 5, right? So 17%. Which I don't think is not too bad. Okay, well, uh, to be fair, all the evolutions, I'm not getting that one. Like, not a fan of that one. <laughs> the rest of them though, the rest of them I do like. Just not a fan of that. Uh, Mama Swine, yeah, we better switch. Go for that super power. Don't have to worry about anything, so there's a uh, healing nurse right above us, so we can just waste all our PP and everything and get fully healed after. Look at this man, just superpower everything. Oh, not it? I'm sorry for more fights. Alright, so... Okay. <laughs> we really are fighting a lot of dudes, aren't we? Got fire punch, hey! You know, I think that Noctowl's like... I think it's Ice Psychic? Or Ice Fairy? I think it's definitely a um, Psychic or Fairy type. Looks cool though. 
Okay, let's go for a heat wave. Might be able to finish it off. Whee! Okay, gonna lead off with Fern Imp. So much easier. Uh, there's an item there. What we got? Tetra Potion! And there's a cave entrance there. Could that take us into the Ursa Caves? Because that would be real poggers. Nice, you're Intimidate Man. It really goes against you. <laughs> Uh, Wimsa Cot, we probably should switch out, but I think we'll be fine. Yeah, all that attack boost, look how much damage we do. Drain Punch, get a little bit of HP back, and hopefully the next Pokemon is weak to fighting, that would be insane. I don't think you are, but Wild Charge, probably super effective, yeah. Slurp Puff, oh, it's got Wild Charge. Got over 400 HP. So what we got in here? We're, this is oh, as a caves and there's the noise burn. That's the noise burn. It's run away. Of course it did. <laughs> oh, Cub Chew. There's one. And handing this side quest in. Actually, both side quests will be really easy because we can just fly. Uh, how do I do this? Like so. Hey, and a Breloom. Let's go. It is absurdly cold in this cave, and the wild bear Pokemon keep pouring at me. I thought you had a cloak and field to prevent other passerbyers from interacting with you. Yes, but Pokemon can still sniff me out. So, you do have a weakness then. <laughs> Alright, let's heal up. Alright, I wonder how many we've found. Like, I wonder how many there are in total and how many we've found in this game. Because I feel like we've found a fair few. I'd say we've found at least, at least 10, right? Surely. Alright, so we've got half of the cup choose and just need to get two more. Oh, I wonder if this could be the cave? Cup Chew, where you at? Hey, here's another one. Gotta try and solve this puzzle. I think I have to do this, this, that, that, this. Nope, that's not it. Although, could I just do that? <laughs> I was trying to go in a different way. Now we get this. Nope. Uh, now you can finally attack. Sorry though, you're gonna have to get absolutely wrecked. Damn, <laughs> easy. Oh, okay. Still good, still good. I guess I, I like Noifan, I think it's such a cool design Pokemon. There's the final Cub Chew. To get this, I need to go and do something like that. Oh, there's the Aggron. Is that a Mega Aggron? No. Okay, from the back it looked like a Mega. Now we just one shot of a superpower. Nice. <laughs> we. Right, how do I get this item? Oh, like that. <laughs> free Max Rev. Ooh, wow, free Max Revives? That is Poggers, boy. Let's go. Hey, and a TM. Rain Dance. I mean, don't need it, but still cool. There's another item there. Got to make sure I get it, because these items recently have been real good. Oh, we're here. Cool. Right, so let me get healed up. And then I'm going to go and fly to hi uh, hand in the side quest we got. Or the two. So let me talk to you. And we go... Wait, what's this? Oh, the Ursa Caves, yeah, so we went through the Ursa Caves, or well, many different Ursa Caves. And then we go through here, and we talk to you, hand this in. What do I get? Car oh, Calm Mind's actually, uh, real good. I think I am going to, so I talked about this before, I'm debating do I get rid of cosmic power because like that does defense as well but like that just basically basically makes us super tanky but calm mind can make us super tanky and then also do damage but we're only defensive to the special attacks but i think it's worth it because our attack will be so high especially when we're mega now like we could just do big big damage now what do i get for this oh free x special defense freeze and x defense freeze i mean it's not bad it's not bad i mean don't really care for the reward for that one. It just felt good, kind of given 
the bad tickets baby's back, so yeah. Uh, let's go to Ice Mist Village, and then we go explore and see what we can find. The water is so cold to the touch. Can't believe some people actually go swim in it. Can't believe you're wearing like a t-shirt and shorts in like snowy weather. <laughs> yeah, I didn't pop the rappel there. I thought we should not do that. And hi. I study from home, so I have to spend a lot of time in front of my computer. My lower back hurts now. I wish I had a more ergonomic chair. Oh, it definitely helps. Trust me. From all the gaming I do and editing and stuff and recording, it, it's, it's good to get invest in a good chair. Yo, my Pokemon and I do yoga together before our workouts. It's good to stretch and yoga is a great way to do that. Builds core strength. Like, I kind of want to try yoga, but I don't know. I feel like it'd be too boring for me. From what I've seen, I feel like yoga is just not for me. Doors locked. Uh, oh, there's Victor. We'll speak to you in a second. It is too cold in this village for my for my bones. I need proper insulation in my home. And the houses do look kind of small. Uh, yo. Oh, my Pokemon are getting pretty high in level now that the ordinary Hyper Potions no longer do the trick. Glad there are Ultra, Giga, and Tetra Potions available to fully restore Pokemon's health. Ooh, thank you for the Tetra Potions. Yeah, man, I'm loving this. Wait. Oh, okay, so normal Hippowdon has... Yeah. I don't have a normal Hippowdon. But my uh, regional one is still really cool, so I'm not gonna, not gonna complain. What? This is crazy. I can find super rare Pokemon just by surfing or fishing in Ice Mist Village. I can get some Pokemon that are otherwise conventional starters in other regions so easily. It's almost unfair. Ooh. Oh, I'll have to go and look at that. But uh, I want this Mega Stone for Garchomp. Nice. All right. So what can we find in the water here? Oh. Okay, get Gen 4, Gen 5 starters. Right, so now let's go and speak to Victor. Ah, Voltsy, there you are. Do you see that small section of deep water to the north? I do. You need to use the mini Whale Lord app to dive down there. There's a short underwater passageway that will take you to the Tomb of the Fallen One. If you go on ahead, I'll meet you down there. You're looking for a small cave-like entrance that leads into an underwater tomb. The entrance was blocked because of some magic enchantments that we believe were... A applied to prevent people from just wandering in. Fortunately, the revolution was able to implement some suppression fields down there that was able to disable the barrier. Our forces now have now entered the tomb and will be waiting for you down there. Once you arrive, a protocol beta Omicron will make more sense. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna save the game as well because it's been a long, long time since I last, last saved it. So let's head on down. Gosh, I love the, uh, the look of the underwater in this game. What we got? Oh, three max repels. Not bad, not bad. I should probably pop a repel now, actually. Just in case. What can we find down here? I mean, not bad stuff, to be fair. Not bad at all. Alright, so we're looking for the underwater tomb. And some items as well. Dragon Dance, not bad. Oh, is this it? Oh, wow. This is looking nice. Okay, to catalog the true events of the fracture. So it shall remain unbiased and pure. For mortal lives may end and the stories and minds of those who pass on their stories may falter and weaken. To document what has happened and ensure a story is not impunged. The soul stones are the key. A light glows up, finishing reading the scripture and a rumbling sound is heard in the distance. Okie dokie. So we can surf over. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. I saw it and thought I looked a little suspicious and you wanna battle, like, okay. This is fine. Let's do this and let's Mega Revolve and Power Gem. Make a star me too good, man. Just wait for that damage to come in. Yeah, boy, critical hit. Don't think I need the crit, but it's, it's nice to see getting a crit, not like, you know, when it's absolutely unnecessary. But I could go, no, let's go superpower and then we go moon blast on the Gastrodon. Critical hit, let's go. Moon blast. 
Oh, didn't even one shot you? Yeah? I, I really thought I would. Easy peasy. Okie dokie. So we're probably gonna fight a lot more of those. Got a zinc, there's two ways to go. Let's go this way and we can't break the rocks. I thought I had rock. Do I not have rock smash? Oh, I did. There's an inscription on the wall of this tomb. To unlock that, what was stored away, one must find the pieces that were broken and bring them back together. An egg, when broken and left to sit, will turn foul. Likewise, when the soul is broken and the fracture are left alone, they, they too will fester. Temporary solution and yet no more. Okay. So now I can go this way. Intruder alert! Ooh, okay, so let's... Same again. Actually, let's go super power because I can get a bit of a stat boost. Then a Mega Revolve and Moonblast. I think super power should still take out Pangora, right? Yeah. Yeah, boy, look at that damage! Woo! A Witzer and a Tyrantrum. Let's go another superpower and then I guess Psychic on Clawitzer. Man, we are so strong. Hey, ah. Oh. I mean, it was kind of good that Inferno avoided the attack, but if it was the other way around and Starmie avoided the attack, that would have been so much better because one Inferno can just go Drain Punch, get HP back. But it wouldn't have been super effective. <laughs> right, so what am I doing? I need to... I'm guessing, I think I probably have to go... Um, hang on. Wait, right, can I still go? Oh, I'll go this way. I was going to say, I probably need to go right then and get something to put onto there? Can I go right? I can go No, I can't go right. Oh, I'm so confused. Let's just like unlock all the ways then. So how do these Pokemon breathe underwater? <laughs> Alright, let's power gym. Wait, am I getting fully healed after every battle? I feel like I am. I mean, it's good. I don't need to, but it's good. Him. Let's do that and then power gem. Definitely getting like fully healed because the PP's back. Man, this tomb is very generous. Alakazam, alright. Uh, let's play rough and Moonblast. Because you fighting type. So what now? What now? Uh, oh, Zygarde Cell. Nice. End. Uh, do you seek oblivion, resurrection, or salvation, but eternal damnation? To the onlookers, neither choice, a right one, but regrettably, the only one. This is a choice made by the circle. Was it the right one? Sacrifice made to preserve mortality and banish evil? But it doomed future generations to an endless burden. The sacrifice of a few for the greater good of the many. Right, so I'm guessing now I go back to the starting room. And then go right? Right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's now open, so we go this way. And I guess I just do this. Oh, quartz. Violet is Kane. Lapis is Lucius. Cosmic Arcturus and Argent is Mordred. Crimson is Bellatrix. Topaz is Dahlia. To forget the names of these is to falter. The Knight follower Ezreal, his motives were suspect, but ultimately our redemption. Been a factor that tipped the scales in our favor. Ooh, and where do we go now? So I'm going to fight this dude, aren't I? Yeah. Seek and destroy. Mordred and Fennec. Easy peasy. Because this Inferno design is so sweet. Every time. I'm reminded of how cool it looks. 
If I do this, probably best. Ooh, that is some decent damage though. It's a lot more than I thought. But I guess we are like 13 levels higher. And you're gonna calm mine, really? Okay. It's absolutely fine. Gonna wild charge and psychic. <laughs> Easy peasy. If you got healed up, that would have been a different story. 100%. Finish it off. Hey. It's a hole in the wall there. Uh Ooh, Megastone. For Lucario. So this will open another wall. To express the emotion trapped within is to empower that which is sealed away. To reunite is to radiate and summon the darkness and shadow. Separate and apart those who hold the sacred charge must remain. Heavy burden to pay to abstain from what makes us mortal and sane. All right. Oh, number one, two must be protected. You're not doing a very good job. I'm taking all of you guys out fairly easy. All right. And the fact that I'm getting healed up is just uh, makes it even easier. <laughs> all right. Uh, psychic, I guess. I don't know what's good here. I probably should come calm mind just to power up a little bit. It's going to be the hardest of the, all the battles we've done so far in this tomb. Oh, double attack me. Alright, okay. I'm going to have a wild charge now and try and take one of you out at least. Another psychic should do the trick. If you can bring out a Pokemon that's weak to fight in, that would be amazing. And you don't. You suck. Ah. Ugh. Oh, if we one-shot the Aegis Slash, that would have been so clutch. So, so clutch. No, my Inferno Ape! I mean, it doesn't matter, because I'm just going to Dust Noir and go for a nice uh, Fire Punch. And then we Moonblast Medicham. Get wrecked, boy! Boy! Okay, so. Oh. Let's try to avoid these if I can. Alright, let's Mega Revolve, do that. And then we go Hurricane. Can't go Sparkling Aria just in case it takes out Starmie. No, we missed the Hurricane. Are you kidding? Oh, my luck, man. It's fine, it's fine. So this Starmie has been an absolute, like, boss since we got it. Dude, we missed another Hurricane. I know the accuracy is quite low, but, like, still kind of annoying. Go on. That definitely one-shots Levani. Easy. Alright, so if I do this... The bond we formed of our partners was to protect the integrity of the sacrifice. A bond so strong that it would persist through generations. If the bond is broken, the sacrifice is undone and our actions for naught. For Shaman and the others, they must be protected. Or else the return of the beast is an inevitability. Okay. What is the beast? It's got, like, in my head, I think it's got to be Giratina. Like I said, I've, it could be a fakie mon, could be something completely new, I, I don't know. I'm excited. Oh, gonna dance around that little X speed 2 for a little bit. Oh, that was close. Oh, hello. There's a magical barrier in the way preventing you from going into the cave. There are some adjustment descriptions that need to be reviewed first. Okay, so it's directly above us. Bone of the Soul Keeper shall carry down through generations. The eldest descendant of each Soul Keeper's family shall be partnered with the Soulbound. However, anyone with familiar ties can heed the call of the Soulbound. The Soulbound, at its discretion, can follow whom it deems worthy. The bond must remain with the eldest. We will transfer on their passing. Alright, so now we should be able to go through here. If you can hear the rain as well. I'm sorry, it's just it's very, very loud. It's chucking it down, man. Kinda wanna walk the dog in the rain, because she loves the rain, I love the rain, it's all good. 
So I hope that we hope that with time, a permanent solution to keep the creature at bay will be determined. Till then, all we can do is hope and stay away. Alright, so now we can go through. Before I save the game as well, in case something bad happens. Oh, and let's dive up. Wait, ooh! This tomb looking... Kind of awesome. The symbol here reminds me of Kyogre? Oh, hello. So, Rhea, Cameron, Kara, Ezreal, I thought you were still back in Delta Base. Nope, Victor called for us to come here as he was going to share with us the plan about Protocol Beta Omicron or whatever. Well then, this should be good. So, Victor, I'm here. Now, what's this tomb got to do with Protocol Beta Omicron? Did you want to show us something? This tomb is now under the control of the Argent Revolution. As most of us know, the other Soul Keepers have been less than ideal partners in trying to prevent the return of the beast. They've not proved to be very capable of protecting their Soul Stone from being taken, much less posing any threat to the Watchers. In some cases, they have just outright handed over their Soul Stones over to the enemy because of their <laughs> idiocy. <laughs> Dude, I'm right here! I'm sorry, did I stutter? <laughs> Thinking of uh, The Office, did I stutter? Uh, do I need to repeat myself? Victor, enough. Back on topic, the revolution uh, recognized we needed to have a contingency plan, and so we have commandeered this tomb and turned it into a small outpost of the resistance, if you will. What do you mean? I mean that we knew that, try as we might, it might was only a matter of time before the Watchers overpowered us, so we need to lay a trap. The Watchers, uh, when they have all of the soul stones, will naturally come here and attempt to resurrect their master and transfer the essence of the beast that is stored within each of them into the demonic husk that lies beyond the portal that sits behind me. Oh, what kind of trap were you thinking? A trap that allows the revolution to seize control of the beast when it is to, when it is released. Control the beast what? How do you plan on controlling the beast when it's released? The same way the agency intended to enslave the creature. Infrared signals. I believe Spencer would have told you early on in your assignment that we have been using the infrared signals produced by the soul stones to track down the Soul Keepers, correct? Yeah, he did mention that in passing. Right, so then our working theory is that if the Soul Stones, the Mythical Pokemon and this tomb all emanate such a strong infrared signal, we need to only use some of our warping technology to suppress the energy that produces the infrared signals. Accordingly, we would then be able to subdue the beast and bring it under our control. How do you know this is even going to work? This is where our friends at the agency helped us realize our path to victory. When they had Shaman under their control, they were torturing the poor creature and using the infrared signal jammer to dominate the soulbound Pokemon into submission. From what we gather, our observations into the torture of Shaman helped us realize that anything that produces this kind of energy would similarly possess a weakness to the signal jammer. Thus we have set up a number of traps throughout this chamber to jam all sources of infrared energy when it is released. But how are we going to lure the watchers to the tomb so that they uh, can even bring back the beast and allow us to seize control of the creature? You forget that we have Wesley and Aki within our purview. We had them safely stored away in the Delta base. Both of them will serve as bait to lure the Watchers here. Whoa, what? You're going to use the other Soul Keepers as bait? How they even agreed to be used as guinea pigs? Yes, we have. Wait, Aki, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be uh, stowed away in the Delta base. For God's sake, why can't you Soul Keepers follow basic instructions and stay within our protection when we tell you to? I miss all the fun? Nah, no way. Yo, Vic, you filled these guys in on the big master plan yet? It's Victor, not Vic, and I was uh, just doing so until you barged in here. Alright then, so I didn't miss anything good. Carry on then. Okay, so as I was saying, both Aki and Wesley will serve as bait to lure the Watchers here. And when the Watchers are here, we give them the Soul Stones they're missing. No doubt that uh, as soon as the Watchers have all the Soul Stones within their control, they will attempt to bring back the Fallen One. When the creature has been released and resurrected, is when we pull the trigger and seize control of the beast. Well, we have two Soul Keepers in close proximity right now. Why isn't this place crawling in Shadow Council yet? Once again, it pays to have a contingency plan. We've employed the same kind of technology that we have in the Delta base to prevent us from being detected. The dampening powers of the warping technology is enough so that even when we have multiple Soul Keepers in close proximity to each other, like we did in the Delta base, they don't register to any Shadow Council or Watcher that is trying to track them down. Seems like you've thought of everything, Victor. For our collective sake, I sincerely hope so. Hold on, if Aki and Wesley are here, where's Emil, Alexis, and the Delphi twins? Are they still at the Delta base? Nah, fam. <laughs> They've gone to Sirius City to break out Sienna and Pierre. But Emil has the Jade Soul Stone. 
You're sending them right behind enemy lines. Worry not, this is all part of the plan. We're not sending them to Sirius alone. Faulty, I need you to rendezvous, rendezvous with the others in Sirius slums. There is a secret tunnel there that will take you into the underground base that Christina is using as headquarters for the Watchers. But why Emil? He actually has something valuable to them. To build trust with the enemy, Agent Rhea. When Volti gets to Sirius, we are going to use Emil's Jade Soul Soulstone and Shaman as a bargaining chip to demonstrate to them that we can be trusted. If the message comes from Volti that he's willing to switch sides and has handed Emil's Jade, Jade Soulstone over as a show of good faith, well then, it becomes far easier to convince them to come here and step right into our trap. Is Emil aware of your plan to use him as a bargaining chip, Victor? It was his idea. This sounds incredibly reckless, Victor. Desperate times call for desperate measures. To make matters worse, our intelligence suggests that there was a large burst of infrared energy that lit up shortly after the time Voltsy left Frostgrad Town. We believe that Xerus and Arcturus has successfully liberated the four Watchers from the four soul stones they possessed. The Quartz, Violet, Argent and Topaz soul stones. Even I'm not so arrogant as to think that Voltsy could handle them all single-handedly, and that's why we've sent Emil, Alexis and Delphi twins to Sirius City. Suffice to say, our work is cut out for us. We can only afford to send a few of them, a few of the team to Sirius. In case Voltsy fails, we need to have a backup plan. That's why the rest of you are staying down here while Voltsy and I return to the surface. And for the love of God, please stay here. Our technology allows us to remain hidden, but we need to prepare to flee in case the, the Watchers double cross us. Voltsy have arranged for a teleport to take the both of us back to Icemist Village. If you wish to make it back to the surface on your own, meet, uh, meet with me in Icemist Village. As I have some additional provisions for you. Oh, okay. Where's the teleporter? Do I talk to you to teleport out? Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, I think we'll end this part here then. Next episode, we'll speak to Victor and get these uh, provisions. And then we'll head to Sirius City to break out Pierre. And um, see ya. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.